Brothers. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the XLE. I brought up the weekly chart. As you can see, this has been in a pretty long-term downtrend here uh, recently. Hold on one second, folks. <clears throat> but I want to bring it up on the daily basis because it looks a little uh, clear and uh, tradable from my standpoint, in which I don't trade it, but let's take a look. Okay, Albert, thank you for the joke. <laughs> All right, here is the XLE on a daily basis. You'll notice here that we made a double top here, folks. We took out the previous high that we had back in March by just a little bit, and then the market reversed. That's highly suspect of a pretty substantial top up in here. The market sold off for a few days with the rest of the market, of course, but that's what we're looking at. The key point here to look at, folks, is that point right there in December where the market had all those three major areas coming in. It made a nice top. And then what it did, it just backs off a little bit. And once we cleared that, and then once we cleared that, it was off to the races. Well, we're having a lot of volatility today, folks. I wanted to show you, give you my two cents worth of what we're looking for. It happened, it all started over in the UK. And this is the uh, four-hour chart on the DAX. You'll notice that we took out the lows of May by just a heartbeat, and the market just absolutely took off to the races. I mean, it just really, really ran to the, to the moon. But in our market, it was a little easier to see. If you were watching the NASDAQ at 4 in the morning, New York time, which I'm sure everybody was, you'll be able to see here that we went exactly to the 78% level, folks, to the exact tick. 12,914, and now we've rallied, uh, you know, 300 points quite a bit, which uh, we've rallied a lot more, of course, in the, the S&P 500. But that, that was the reasoning behind that bottom is what it looks like. Now, we've had a pretty substantial break here in the grains. I just wanted to talk to you about what's happening there. I you know, I think long term, I don't think it makes very much. But as we we spoke here several times, there were so many of these charts that we we're looking at that looked bearish that it was, uh, you know, really time to be a little bit cautious of everything. But this is the uh, the grain stocks positions report coming from R.J. O'Brien. And basically, uh oh, maybe we got a caller coming in here. Let's just see what we got here. Uh, yep, that's exactly right. Uh, Mr. Z is telling us about the uh, national NQ hitting the exact 61% retracement, which in fact it did. And I think we can see that pretty easily if we take a look at the color version of this on the daily, you'll be able to see it. There it is right there, and you'll be able to see it spot on. So we're at the 78% level of the low on the 22nd of March. This is a major bottom here, folks, if it can hold, and it certainly looks like it's going to. Okay, now. Next, next question that we want to cover here is the uh, – oh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Okay, here it is. Bitcoin. Here is Bitcoin. We've had a big sell-off in Bitcoin. We got down to that magical uh, 48,000 level. Again, they, they're blaming this all on uh, – I'm sure you did, Terry. Good for you. A lot of people did. You'll notice here that we uh, just completed uh, the 382 retracement for the uh, second time, and we're approaching the 61% retracement down there at 42,000. Now, they're blaming this on, uh, what's his name, uh, Elon Musk. But, folks, I don't know if it was Elon Musk or not. You know, there's so much stuff in the news nowadays that you can't really tell what the heck's going on. That's uh, that's the main thing of what we're watching here. So I, I hope that helps as far as what you're looking at. But frankly, I don't think it means too much. But I wanted to bring that chart to you on this grain thing because it's important to see why it's happening. Let me get it up here one more time so that, uh, so that we can see it here. Uh, look at the arrows at the bottom, folks. 
These were the actual numbers. You'll notice corn was 1507, and the average estimate over there on the right was 1344. That's billion, of course. And then you'll see in soybeans it was 140, and it was about unchanged to a little bit less. Uh, yet the beans reacted badly, too. The beans uh, went uh, limit down, or almost limit down. In fact, they're almost there right now. So that's it. By the way, yeah, Elon Musk, when he, when he does something like that, you, you, the guy, he's very eccentric, and he's an incredibly brilliant guy. But you don't never know what that guy is going to be doing. I mean, uh, I I think if you play your life along with uh, Elon Musk, boy, you better have a lot of sedatives because you're you're probably going to uh, need them. So that's uh, the main thing to you know, to keep in mind here. Now we're in a very very critical level here in the gold today, folks. I want to get this up here uh, to remind you that uh, I think we've made a major top up there at, at that 1846 level. We got all the way down to 1808. We dropped uh, dropped 30, 38 uh, points, uh, 34 is the harmonic number. We rallied back up to uh, 25, and the 61% retracement back on that brings you in at 1829. Anything above 1829 could uh, signal some more uh, buying into the upside. So those are a few of the things that we're looking at today. Our ghost, our ghost, <laughs> folks, as you might, well, yes, yes, I've been up quite a bit. Uh, if you'll be watching, <laughs> oh, thank you. If uh, what we'll be watching today is John Person was going to be our guest here at the break. Uh, tomorrow, I will not be here tomorrow, but I'll be here on Monday. I've got a few guests coming up and uh, we need some white light, folks. One of our friends here, uh, uh, is uh, here at TFNN, not a member of the TFNN family, but someone that we know he is uh, fighting the big C. So let's send out some white light to him and his family, and hopefully we'll get him moving along. Okay, um, talk about inflation. You know, uh, Ruby, I don't really <laughs> – inflation, what are they talking about? Are you kidding me? I mean, all you have to do is go into the market and see the price of food. I mean, look at the price of uh, of real estate. Look at the price of you know oil. I mean, come on, you know, give me a break. I mean, we we haven't seen anything like what we saw, you know, back in uh, you know nineteen in the nineteen eighties. There was nothing like that. There will be, but you know, the numbers that they're giving you, they 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 massage those numbers to make you think that there's nothing there. But come on, give me a break, folks. You don't have to be a rocket science to figure this out. I mean, that's silly, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Let's move on to a couple things that we need to uh, talk about here. Uh, the, they're having a pretty good rally today in these things. As we said, coming off here, uh, I wanted to bring this to your attention here. Here is the one that we've been watching here, of course, uh, in Apple. And uh, we, we think that Apple could get up to that uh, 128.60 uh, level. I don't know if we got there today. We probably came pretty close. Does uh, anybody tell me if we got to 128.60 in Apple today? Because if it did, that could be a very interesting uh, spot because it follows the numbers as well as anything we look at. And uh, if someone would give me the high of the day in Apple, I would certainly appreciate it, please. And I will be happy to put a check in the mail. <laughs> okay, I guess no one's helping me today, so I'll have to do it at the break. Uh, we're going to uh, take a look at a couple of the FANG stocks. 126 is the high of the day, Ruby. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. <clears throat> Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I'll personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted a chart here of Tesla. As you can see, it's not having as much fun as the other NASDAQ stocks, but uh, that's neither here nor there. There's Mr. Uh, uh, Elon Musk is uh, value to the uh, world of trading. Now, let's take a look at Amazon. Here's another one that has been uh, in the news quite a bit. And if we take a look at this one, uh, you'll see here that even though they're having a big day over there, it, these are all of these FANG stocks, folks, uh, look uh, very, very suspect. That's for sure. Bear with me one second, folks. We have crude oil making a new low, and I need to turn the old uh, beeper off. Oh, it's going to take a little bit more than that to do that. So just give me one second here. Sorry about that, boys and girls. There's nothing else I can do about it, and it'll be – hold on just a second. We'll get this up here, hopefully, so you folks can see what we have going on here because – we have been bearish this ever since that wonderful report that we got about the uh, uh, pipeline stuff. And you can see here's oh, – just a minute. It's just not turning off. There we go. All right, let's get this up here, and you'll be able to see what we're looking at here. Uh, well, I can't get all the charts up, so I'm going to do one at a time here, boys and girls. So here's where we are. Uh, okay, you can see here we're breaking down now. We're taking out the lows of May right now. I believe so. Yeah, we're we just took out the lows of May. Uh, not a very good sign. We're down now three dollars a barrel, folks. After we had the situation with the uh, uh, pipeline thing, you know, there's a perfect example. You know, news comes out and you know, <laughs> and people react to it, and it doesn't always uh, mean uh, the way that it's going to go here. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that. Uh, okay, all right. Keeping Miss Cindy saying to uh, us to keep it together. I am. Uh, I certainly am. I am in control, as they say in the trade. Now let's move on here for one other thing that I wanted to uh, to do here. Oh, I know what someone's asking me a question about crude oil. Let's just get it this up on the four minute. And uh, oh dear, where are we here? Hold on. <laughs> Boy, my technical part's not working today, folks. I have the chart of Amazon up. I think you've already seen that. Now I want to do the one on uh, Facebook. Here's another one. Facebook's actually up a little bit today, but none of these FANG stocks are acting very well at all. I, uh, I'm quite surprised. I thought they would be a lot stronger. 
looking at this, and you'll see here, uh, uh, we're th this is a pretty bearish chart, folks. We're having a one-day rally here. If we go below uh, 297 from here, oh, dear, that's going to be a very, very negative pattern. The reason why we had a little three-day rally, and then the market went from 325 to 300. And we've already seen uh, what Apple has done. You know, Apple's going to have a hard time getting above that 128 level and still looking at 119 on the downside. So that's another one that we want to look at. Let's get Facebook up here so we can take a quick look at it here. If you have any questions, it's 877-76648, and we will take a look. You'll see say Facebook had a three drive to a top pattern. Again, it's a perfect one. If you look at the ABCD leg, it's spot on. Count the number of days in the AB leg. Count the number of days in the CD leg. And measure from high to high, and you'll see that it's about as symmetrical as you can possibly get. And that's pretty much it. You remember when we were looking at Goldman Sachs at the beginning of the week when it was trading at, uh, at 357. Uh, uh, or was it 375? 376. It was trading at 376 with that big ABCD. And uh, I can someone give me the last price on uh, Mr. Goldman Sachs today? 376 is what we were looking at the last time we were watching it. I just was curious uh, what it might be uh, trading at uh, now because uh, that was a perfect indication to have you all the bullish news coming out. Guys from Goldman Sachs would never give us misinformation. So I think it's another thing that we want to do. I'm going to get that chart up myself on Goldman Sachs because I think that's an interesting one. Just to uh, tell the folks that if you're watching these things and not doing you know, the fundamentals analysis that some of you do, that you'll be able to see that this can be done without fundamental analysis. So, oh, well, shut the front door and raise the rent. They've moved it down just a little bit. Here, here's where we are here. Okay, one second. Get this up here for old Goldman Sachs. There it is, 356.79. I'm using delayed date. I'm showing 357.74. It's already down 356. But there's a, a beautiful ABCD pattern there at the 1.618 expansion. Folks, that 1.618 expansion is the number that you just – Put that across your uh, forehead, just like when the Italians came in from uh, uh, Italy and from uh, Ajago, uh, Italy, where my, my, my mother was from. Uh, they came in to uh, New York and they put their names uh, to New York, T-O-N-Y. And that's why most Italians are named Tony. I don't know if you knew that or not, but it is the case. Now, the price objective on this uh, move right here is 335. That's what the price objective. You take the last low on the 19th to the high. The 61% uh, retracement comes in right at uh, uh, 339, I believe, is the exact price to uh, take a look at it. Now, this is the most bearish. Uh, the next one is the most bearish of all the FANG stocks. So let's get this up here, and we'll take a quick look at it right here. You'll be able to see. Uh, Ruby, just one second, Ruby. I'll do this chart. Uh, Okay, uh, this is a uh, uh, Ruby's asking what level the S and P is going to take off. Ruby, this thing took off from forty thirty five last night at one o'clock in the morning Tucson time. Uh, that's when the Nasdaq hit the seventy eight percent retracement and the the Dax made the ABCD at the three eight two. That's when it started. You know, if we get if we get above forty uh, anything above forty one twenty today, will tell us that, that we the best buying opportunity. Uh, of the whole uh, year happened at, uh, you know, 4 o'clock in the morning, New York time. But unless you're up at 4 o'clock in the morning, you're not going to get it. By the time you came in here, you were already 60 handles up. And then you went from uh, when you went up to 4120, I believe. So uh, that's it. So that's the main thing uh, to keep in mind. The one thing that you have to be concerned about, and I, I'm sure that could never happen, uh, and that is the fact that uh, what would happen if the market would close lower today? I mean, could that ever happen? Well, then, then you're talking about something that would be, you know, just slightly negative. But the odds of that happening are, you know, just slightly uh, slim or none. And uh, we know who those guys are. Those guys are the guys that are riding up in the up in the riding the horses in the mountains behind me. All right. Now, let's take a look here. No, no. All right. Here's here's the chart on Apple uh, sh showing on a four hour chart. We still think we're going to get down to this level here at around 119 and uh, on this move. But whether it does or not, we'll have to wait and see. And this was the one. The next one, of course, is the one that had been the most bullish. And uh, here again, 
it's got all of the characteristics see you've got the beautiful a b c d pattern up each move on the upside was 27 days up now you're having a correction the correction is already exceeded in in two weeks it's already exceeded the correction that took a month to form uh, on the last one so that's a sign that these markets are running into a little bit of problems up in this area that doesn't mean they're not going to keep going but uh, that's what we're paying attention to here today so i hope that helps uh, we're going to have john person as our guest hopefully and if we don't we're going to take a look at some commodities and uh, that's what we will do with the, re the rest of the show here so every day Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find a newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with tom o'brien and using his best-selling book the art of timing the trade your ultimate trading mastery system david white has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software get your copy of the art of timing the trade charts today by visiting tfnn.com this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com Okay, boys and girls, it looks like John is uh, pretty swamped today. He won't be able to join us. And uh, during that last episode, uh, believe it or not, uh, all of my data went out. I have lost access to Ensign, and the only way I can get it done is to uh, reboot the computer, and that's going to take too long to do it. So I'm not going to – I'll just wing it from what we're looking at right here. I have posted a chart here of Cardano. That's ADA. This was a stock that when we did the very first – uh, day day trading uh, thing that we did 
uh, way back at this was September of last year. Uh, we were looking at ADA at six cents a share. Uh, it was sitting right at a 61% retracement. And of course, John uh, Jameson really liked that stock. And uh, you'll see here today that we're approaching uh, $2 a share now. So if you happen to have bought that, hang on because John thinks it's going to $50 a share. Hey, look, if they can take Bitcoin to 65000 they can take a stock to, to, to whoever they is. I don't know. But anyway, that's what we're paying a close attention to. Folks, let's just talk about uh, – the fact is I'm at a point uh, today. I did stay up a little bit too late last night because uh, I was watching these markets, and it, it, it was fine. But the problem is uh, you know, you, you get a little bit tired in the middle of the morning, and I was doing pretty good up until about 8, uh, 1130, the right time here. Then I got a little bit uh, punchy, and then when I started going – through this, I began to see I was a little more punchier than I actually thought. So that's the main thing that we're looking. So there's not really anything that I can do here as far as uh, post any charts because uh, my ensign is gone. I can use the uh, yeah, I was too, Ruby. I can use the uh, charts that I've used before, but uh, they're not the ones that I was looking at. Now, I have a, uh, a very, very, uh, very, very influential platinum trader, uh, and I want to bring this chart up to show you because this guy has uh, – I've showed these before, but you notice here that uh, – I, I argued with him about this head and shoulders pattern because by definition, that right shoulder is so much higher than the left shoulder, it cannot be a uh, head and shoulders pattern. What that is, it's basically a Gartley. And if we break below that 1217 level, you'll see we're going to be heading down probably $200 uh, an ounce in uh, platinum. So uh, pay close attention to that. This guy is an excellent uh, technician, and he certainly knows what he's doing. He only does really long-term trades and stuff. So uh, keep your mind on platinum and gold. That's why we're watching both platinum and gold, because I really think that gold has finally you know, shown its colors. Uh, we did not get above the number that we wanted to hit the self price which was 1851 we got to 1846 and then we dropped to 1808 i think last price was 1826 uh, or something like that but that's pretty much uh, you know what we're what we're paying attention to here uh, today now someone asked the question <laughs> i don't know if i saved it or not i don't think i did and i'm glad i didn't they asked me to show uh, something on the uh, artificial intelligence but i didn't save it and i don't have it so i i don't really know all right um the um, oh, what was the next thing? Someone asked me. Oh, someone asked about the about the crude oil, and the fact is that all all we were trying to show you folks on Monday is when this this hacking thing happened, is how to react to the news. Watch to see what's happening. Give let the market feedback whether there's more buyers or sellers in there. And here you had something that was really bullish. I mean, it hit all the major news things, and you know even uh, the people that walk their dogs out here in the neighborhood was asking uh, Sarah how much. Crude oil was up, and of course it wasn't, and that was telling you that the market had pretty much factored that already in. So those are a few things that we want to uh, keep in mind uh, to always let the market feedback what it really wants to tell you. Now that someone, <laughs> I I do not know whether ADA uh, Cardano is going to go uh, to that big level or not. I don't know. All I know is that it's moved pretty good since that time. And all I can tell you is it's looking uh, better than it was when it was trading at five cents a share. Now, okay, let's move on uh, to the next one. Uh, we've we've seen this uh, situation going on in the in the grain markets, and if you'll remember, hold on, I want to get some of these future markets here because they were giving us an indication that we were very very close to a major high here coming into this week. I that I told you I said that all of these charts look like they were ready to have a really good place now we've been limit down now for a couple of days i believe well they've been trading but you'll see we've broken a great deal in the nearby july corn and of course december corn has broken some too because of the rain that came in but uh, these are just things that normally happen folks uh that's a pretty much uh, pretty much what you're watching but there were so many of these that were telling you that you were at major tops and uh, that's that's why I was a little scary, you know, saying, wow, there's something negative might happen coming in here. So that's uh, what we're paying attention to. So I don't know if it means anything or not. All I just look at these charts and they just tell me whether they're they're going to work or not. Look at look at this here. Look at this moonshot we had going in uh, Christmas corn here. 
coming into this mark in this market this this morning and look you can see what's happened here how much we've broken we've already broken down uh, uh, 70 cents a, a, a bushel down to 570 now what I'm watching for and I'm and this is what my game plan is is to look for a place to buy December corn because it's a weather market right now but eventually it's going to be a supply market and no matter what happens we're going to be running out of corn uh, no matter where it's going to go. Now, if we take a look at copper, you know, we thought copper was going to get up around to that uh, 4.75. Well, it went to 4.87, and then it dropped 26 cents uh, in the last uh, three days with the rest of the market coming off. So that's, you know, see what I'm saying? That's it. That's all I can tell you that I'm looking at here today. Um uh, I wanted to uh, mention one other thing. Uh, someone's asked a question about the uh, the cough, cocoa market, and I, I just want to bring that up. Uh, I know Ruby trades cocoa in here. And if we look at the cocoa, you'll see we made a double bottom there uh, in the cocoa at 23.40. We cannot go below that. Going below that double bottom at 23.40 would be extremely bearish. Uh, I mean, extremely bearish. We had that perfect head and shoulders pattern there. As you can see, just lines up just spot on. And from that level, uh, you're going to be able to uh, see that you've been heading down. The trend has been down since uh, December. But very, very nice tradable moves, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, the U.S. dollar has held that major uh, level at $90. And uh, we're going to be uh, – okay, I don't understand what you're what – you're, uh, what you're printing, folks, but that's the way it goes. So let's move on here to the next one here, and we will see uh, what we've got going here. Yeah, we're still making new highs. Okay. All right. Um, hold on one second. Um, eight set, well, I'm getting a little confused. Let's get back to the natural gas because I still think this natural gas finally hit $3 today and then backed off again, so I don't think that's going to mean very much. It doesn't look to me like it uh, wants to go a whole lot higher, but again, you know, we will uh, we'll pay close attention to that and, and see what uh, – see what happens so we'll see what's going on with that 877-927-6648 and when we get back we are going to talk about some things related to the psychology of the market okay how about that does that sound like a good idea please hold the calls folks i mean the the line is just absolutely jammed and uh, al just can't take it right now so as soon as the light comes on he'll let you through Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, someone's asked me to compare this market to the uh, COVID market. I put up the weekly chart of the cash S&P, and as you can see, in that week, we went from 3,400 all the way down to 2,800. And believe me, folks, we haven't even begun to do anything like that. We went from 4,200 down to 40. I mean, that was one-third the difference of what we're looking. And then we had the break. Uh, you know, the move, the move up today, uh, taking us a little above the 382 level, not quite at the 50% level, so totally different. You know, we had a panic situation there in March of last year, and the market, well, it started in uh, February, then it had the, the big move down, and then it had a huge rally. It had a 50% rally where the, it ran it ran up uh, from 2,800 2, all the way up to uh, to 3,015 in, in a period of about uh, three days, and then uh, it came in and it dropped like a rock. Now, whether these markets are going to act like that again, I don't know, but, uh, you know, we did start off uh, on the right foot on this thing and so it's come down you know the nasdaq has not even the, the number on the nasdaq is 600 points higher just to make the 382 retracement which it might do later today so those are just few of the things uh, that we're keeping uh, keeping in mind today now let, let's just talk about me for just a second okay folks let me explain to you what's happening with me i have looked at these markets overnight and again i mean i can see the bottom coming in because we hit that 60 61% retracement on the NASDAQ. Uh, we didn't do anything with the, with the S&P or the Dow Jones. Neither one of those was close. But uh, what was happening during that time is once that NASDAQ bottom was in, uh, boy, the S&P and the uh, NASDAQ, uh, the S&P and the uh, Dow Jones and the Russell all took off uh, to the races, and we went from uh, 4038 uh, all the way up to uh, 4027 so far today, 4022 so far today. Now, that was basically, when you see a market like that, it's basically a short covering rally. And then when you come in on the opening uh, and you see the market's already, uh, you know, given, uh, taken back 60 or 70 handles, but the shorts are absolutely scared to death. So these program traders come in and they start to bid this thing up and that's what makes it run. So it's not unusual to see that coming. So uh, just remind yourself that that opening part of the day between 9.30 and 10.30 uh, New York time is very, very important. It, it should not be under, underestimated by uh, any stretch uh, of the imagination. So keep keep that closely in mind. Now, when, when you put in as many hours as I did yesterday, the problem that I needs to rise is how I break up my day into resting time. So right after the, the show today, I will be done for the day. I was actually done for the day at 8.30 this morning, but be preparing for this trade or pre preparing for this and wanting to see the open, I, I was just waiting to see what uh, to see what's going on. I had some very nice charts uh, that I wanted to bring with you, but unfortunately, I've lost my data. I have lost Ensign, which 
don't know where that's at. I looked in the in the uh, computer and it's just uh, just not responding. So I just can't pull up any any charts uh, to that effect. Uh, I would like to give you some sound advice. Those of you that are out there, especially those of you that are trading stocks, futures traders, yeah, maybe you might like this, maybe you won't, you should, but it's Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre. It's uh, the story of Jesse Livermore and uh, his how he made and, and lost a whole bunch of fortunes. Uh, he did not die uh, in bankruptcy, folks. He had a bankruptcy situation going on because of the IRS, but he had about a $5 million trust fund that his family had. And I know that for a fact because uh, Ed Dobson, who ran Traders Press, was a good friend of uh, Rick Smitten, who was uh, actually a family member of the of the uh, Livermores. He wrote a couple of books about him, and uh, they, you know, he lived very comfortably in uh, Santa Barbara during the winter. In the in the summer, he was in New York, and he did take his own life at the Roosevelt Hotel in one of the little restroom stalls. And the reasoning before before it was he was quite a womanizer, and he was in love with a woman who was 19 years old, and I think he was 51. Hmm. That's not very good with math, is it? And anyway, uh, he took his own life because uh, she ran away to New Orleans with another man. And uh, he wrote a note. His note was something like, I got all this money, and life ain't worth a living, and that's it. And uh that's uh, pretty much uh, how it goes. He did. He shot himself with a 32 caliber uh, Smith & Wesson revolver. Those are some of the things that I got from Rich Smitten when I was able to uh, visit with him. Now, Rich Smitten, I have to tell you a really interesting, really interesting uh, story. Rich Smitten's best friend was one of the guys that helped write several books, and he lived in Costa Rica, okay? And he was, he was murdered on the beach in Costa Rica, OK, at the same time that he was being murdered in Costa Rica, his friend, Rich Smitten's friend, was in Switzerland and he was also murdered. Only he wasn't shot. He was strangled at exactly the same time. Now, that cannot be a coincidence, but why that is, I don't know. It's just really uh, anybody will have to see. OK, uh, have the world's greatest stock trader in my hands. Yeah. Uh, well, well, who knows? Uh, affairs of the heart are always the ones that are hard to understand anyway. Okay, uh, one of the things that we want to remember here is when we see this thing like ADA and Cardano, I don't know anything about these cryptocurrency folks. Uh, all I know is they've been pretty, uh, pretty popular recently, and I certainly don't want to do that uh, to get away from that. Uh, I won't be here uh, tomorrow. It's my physical day, and I'm going to need it because I, I'm a little overtired right now. It's been an exciting week, of course, and uh, I will uh, certainly uh, be ready again on Monday. Uh, to uh, do the shows and stuff. But tomorrow will be, after I get done with all that stuff, it's going to be a day of rest for me. And then it'll be uh, be some fun time to uh, take a look. I will also, I will not be here on Tuesday of next week. Uh, that's going to be a, a travel date for us. We're going to actually spend some time with our grandkids after 18 months of not seeing them. I hope we recognize Well, we see them every day on Zoom. But Boy, they're really getting big. I can't believe it. 10, 10, 8, and 2. Hard to believe they're they're getting there uh, so very closely. Now, uh, I wanted to – I do have one chart that still popped up here, and that's – hold it. Just give me a second, folks. This is the uh, Treasury bond market. Uh, we had some major support down there at one, uh, 155 today, and that means we could be in a situation where we might get some more – uh, rally on the uh, Treasury bonds at this level, but they're still uh, quite negative, and whether they'll continue to be that way uh, will certainly tell us, uh, you know, whether we whether it's going to continue that way or not. It, we'll have to wait and see if it's uh, if it's going to do that. So that's pretty much what we're looking at here. We got the uh, Dow's up almost 500 points, uh, up 130 in the Nasdaq, right near the highs, and uh, we've got the S and P's not too far from the highs. And it all looks uh, looks copacetic uh, going. We got the bonds uh, got up to uh, oh uh, oh they got all the way up to 56.13. Oh, that's a nice run. So that's another one that looks pretty interesting here. So we'll keep a close eye on some of these things, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to spot some things uh, over the weekend to look at. We got to be watching the euro, folks, because I think the euro is getting ready to uh, maybe have a little bit of a rally in here. If that's on my watch list, if you're in the British pound trade. The short British pound, 
uh, it's working great. Just stick with it. Keep your stop at break even. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks, three hours to go till the market closes. Uh, we've had a heck of a run so far. Looks like we're going to be right in the middle of the range here to see what happens the rest of the day. Just keep in mind that markets that can go up. They can also come down, so be very careful. I posted the chart of the New York Stock Exchange Index. We had that situation on last Friday where the market blew through, and then what had happened on Monday totally reversed all that, plus a great deal. Uh, to me, that means a great deal as far as where I think the market's going over the next couple of months, how much higher we're going to get with the S&P today. Of course, if we make new highs, then you know all bets are off, and this thing could uh, literally melt up. Uh, till we'll have to wait and see. But uh, the goal today missed so far. Uh, we're looking at 11, excuse me, at 1830 was a 61 percent retracement. We got to 1829.10. We're trading at 1827 uh, and, and change right now. They've just told me. And uh, I think that uh, the gold and silver and copper are all ready to uh you know, to, re to resume their move to the downside. The only thing that will make me bullish now, gold folks, would be a move up above 
1850, from this 1855 above this level, then I will get very bullish. But until that is not going to be uh, looking what's going on. Okay. Uh, uh, Ruby saying that Trader Tom just closed his Bitcoin position for a 7,000-point profit. Well, that's pretty good. I think that's wonderful. Trader Tom knows what he's doing, and he certainly knows the bear side of the market. We certainly enjoyed his friend and our mentor, uh, David Paul, and hopefully we'll have Tom on one of these days. But he gets so busy during the trading session that it's – doesn't have a lot of time, but uh, he's an incredible speaker, and I will contact him over the weekend and see if he'll come on and spend 15 minutes with him here uh, at TFNN and talk to us about you know how he trades real aggressively from both the long side and the short side. Well, we come to the end of the road. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And I'll see you folks on Monday morning, bright and early, and make sure that you do something for your friends that have a lot less than you. May God bless. Thank you.